Uh, this is the April 2nd uh, meeting of the Northampton License Commission. Uh, all our members are present. Um, the uh, meeting is being uh, uh, recorded. Uh, at this time, I'll ask for public comment about any item that's not on the agenda. Uh, seeing none, I'll move on to, um, we're going to take um, the uh, item number 11 at the top, uh, the Chamber of Commerce's uh, request out of order here, because they have another event, so with everybody's agreement, uh, Suzanne. Hi, thanks a lot. My name is Suzanne Beck. I live at 691 Park Hill Road, and I'm representing the Greater Northampton Chamber of Commerce today on our application for a short-term all-alcohol license. Uh, this is for a fundraising event that we're holding on Friday, May 2nd. It's a private party at the East Side Grill, and we've extended the premises to include the parking, the adjacent parking lot. Will there will be a tent, um, and so the license is actually for the serving of al alcohol in the tent. Um, the event goes from 6.30 to 10 o'clock that night. We're offering valet parking. We've gotten permission from the Parking Commission or the Transportation and Parking Commission to um, close the parking lot on uh, Friday for the event. And we'll turn it back over to the city on sa early Saturday morning. Okay. And um, this is the um, same as other chamber events. We have all the information that we need in order do this and the servers you'll be using are from the from the side grill I take it? Yes. And uh, with the application we provided the survey the server ID. And um, the um, so the event will start at um, six at six o'clock. Six o'clock. Okay. There'll be an entrance directly into the tenant area there. Yeah. The so the tent will have you can picture um, just a big rectangle. It'll be. It'll have sides all around it, and then there'll be an opening that kind of faces the East Side Grill ramp. So people will come into the East Side Grill to, grill to register. They'll um, get a wristband to show that they are, in fact, um, people attending the event, and that's. And we'll have volunteers at the entrance to the tent that can kind of manage the traffic flow and ask answer questions. And the um, uh, the license that you're applying for is for it's for a temporary premise. That's the parking lot. Yeah, exactly. East Side Grill has its own license. Right. Never the twain shall meet. <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah. So the liquor that's uh, provided uh, that's served to the uh, guests at your function in the parking lot mm -hmm. that stays there. The liquor that's served at the bar or at the tables in, in the restaurant. That stays there. Unfortunately, that's the way it has to work. So two separate premises. Okay. So um, uh, I, I think you uh, heard that already. I have heard that, yeah. From um, Deb Flynn is here, the owner of the East Side Grill, and my associate, Kristen Cole, and Beg had consulted on Beg. <laughs> Name's up, Beg. <laughs> Deb had consulted with uh, Michael Weiss. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's just the way it is yeah. under Massachusetts. So it's bound to enforce. So, um, uh, I have no other questions for Suzanne. Uh, um, I just, just, just to understand. So, people from this event will be in the tent, but also in the East Side Grill. That's right. uh, okay. So there'll be yeah. some movement back and forth, right. and they'll be eating both places or yes. Places. Uh, no, I have no other questions. Okay. I'll make a motion that we approve the application for the short term liquor license. In all favor? Aye. Uh, thank you very much. Did you happen to bring a check? We did not happen to, so we owe you. You can um, contact me to pick it up at the office. I'll send you an email tomorrow, Mary, to find out your schedule. Okay. Thank you. 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 Um, item number five, approval, uh, disapproval, and renewal of seasonal liquor licenses per ABCC instructions. Uh, and we have seven on here. Uh, Mary, do you want to tell us? All the licenses have paid their fee, submitted proof of liquor liability insurance, and workers' comp, and they've been issued their certificates of inspection effective to January 15, 2015, by the building commission. Okay. Uh, 
Um, were these inspected as part of the overall inspection? Or? No, these are seasonal. Oh, they don't even get the inspection? They're inspected separately. Oh, separately. Separate. Okay. Separate. Okay. Um, okay. I don't have anything. Pine Grove's going away then because they got the full. <clears throat> they're not yet approved, but they're at APCC to convert. Oh, so to they're going to go ahead and. Right. Yeah, they had to renew as seasonal for now. Sure. So they can. So we're renewing them. They'll, they'll, they can serve as of now. Yes. They'll get their thing. Then they won't have to do this. Yes. Um, and uh, have we had an application from 2628 Center Street LLC to convert Not to yet. year round? Not okay. yet. And. Um, The Pines Theater. No. Is that Little Park? No, but I'm, oh, down at the park. <coughs> I thought that was all. The Garden House is The Garden House is annual. Pines right. is still season. Okay. Yeah. Right. And they were they included in the special act in the five licensed special act? I don't think they were. Uh, right? In the special act is 2628, mm -hmm. Pine Grove, the two Hampshire. Ag Society, uh -huh. um, the garden. And, the, and, and the garden house was the fifth one. Okay. So look, yeah. the Pines Theater one was not no. never special. Okay. No. Right. Thank you. For, okay. Um, so do we need a motion on this? Yes, uh, please. I'll, I'll make a motion to approve uh, the renewal of these seasonal liquor licenses. Okay, I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. <coughs> okay, uh, is uh, Mr. Seward here? No, item six, um, have we heard from Eric? I have not today. Okay. We'll move on then, uh, let me show up later. Um, item number seven, application of liquor license to sell farmers markets, uh, Black Birch Vineyard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. As long as he doesn't serve. He's not Tim's <laughs> trained. No, we already started the training. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, my name is Ed Hamill, and I'm with Black Bridge Vineyard. And uh, just tell us, uh, you plan, now you did this uh, last year, correct? We've done it the last two years. Right. So this will be our third season at the at the farmer's market uh, right down here. This one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And um, uh, you require documentation. Uh, well, the only thing I'm waiting for is a copy of the MDAR application. I think. Uh, I, I, I do have that with me. Okay, great. Yep. And I have, I, have a check, I have a check with me as well. Okay. Do we need MDAR approval before? This he does on? have it. Yeah. That is attached there. Um, right. right. It's just, um, I, I have to actually have a copy of the application too on top. Okay. okay. So there's nothing else that it's going to Okay. Yeah. Any questions? Uh, no, I don't have any questions. I'll make a motion that we approve the application <coughs> of Blackbird Birch Vineyard to sell at the farmer's market. Second. All in favor? Uh -huh. Aye. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Someday this will all be yours. <laughs> okay. Uh, The original or copies? Uh, I don't know. Probably copies. Yeah. So you want to answer $50? Yes. Okay. Um, so we have the same thing as the next item, item 8, is application for a farmer's market license from uh, Goddard's Red Farm. Red Hen Farm, Middle Hills Winery. I'm Larry Goddard. I own uh, Goddard's Red Hen Farm in Middle Hills Winery. That's be our fourth year at the Gothic Street uh, Saturday morning farmers market. And uh, what do we need from uh, Mr. Goddard? He actually has provided everything. Okay. So we're all set then. Yeah. Seen, I've seen you out there. That one, I, <laughs> yeah. uh, I have no questions, Mr. Goddard. I, I should. Uh -huh. uh -huh. 
Uh, I'll make a motion to approve the um, application to sell to uh, Promise Rockets for Goddesses. So I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you. Okay. Item number nine, application for change of manager on uh, the Elks Lodge. Um, somebody here to speak for the Elks Lodge. Hmm. Okay. Okay, we'll move on then. Uh, pass that one by. Uh, what was it? Uh, item number 10, application for a short term wine and malt liquor license, uh, Jackson and Connor. For the Best Buddies Fashion Show on Thursday, April 17th. So, we've right. done this uh, before. That's correct, right. yes. Your predecessors did this. Yes, before, right? yes, indeed. Yes, we've done this the last four years, so this will be our fifth year mm -hmm. doing the event. Um, and it's just for the one day for the Best Buddies Fashion Show that we put on with uh, Best Buddies of Western Mass. Okay. It's a great event, if I Nice. Yeah. Uh, my name is William Bridau, and I'm the owner of Jackson and Connor. G R I D. -D oh, sorry, B R I. D E A U. D E A U. Um, and um, okay, so this will be on the um, second floor at your mm -hmm. store. Yeah. And. Um, you have provided the information of uh, the insurance. I'm just waiting for insurance information and the fee. Okay, okay. Uh, I have the fee with me today. The insurance hasn't changed since last time. I mean, we just changed uh, the name over. But if you need the forms, I can get them to you again. Um, what I had on file in the office had expired. Okay. So I will need a new copy. Terrific. I will send that over to you. Okay. So when you, uh, when, uh, you were sold the business, it stayed... Um, it stayed the same corporate. It stayed the same, uh, the, the same business. We just changed the LLC. Okay. Replaced the LLC. And it's called what? W uh, the LLC is WNL. W. And then DBA Jackson Connor. I see. Okay. Right. Um, I don't know what the question is for Mr. I have any questions. Uh, I'll make a motion that we approve the application for the short term wine and malt license for the Best Buddies Fashion Show. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, thanks a lot. You could just email me the insurance. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, um, <laughs> Here's it. Good to see you again. Yeah. Um, see you. Um, Item number 11, application for sure. No, we did that already. Sorry, scratch that. Item number 12, Smith College Dining Services, events, student parties, coming by fall, Friday, 14th. Um, uh, Stephanie will really do this one. This is for Smith, so let's, oh, okay. let's get back on this one. Uh -huh. Okay, you want to just identify yeah. yourself for the record and I, um, say what you're playing. Kathy Zito, the director of dining services at the college. The students have asked to have a spring party on Friday the 18th, and the time is just 6.30 to 9.30, and they've requested that we serve beer and wine, they're going to have a band, and this will all be weather permitting, it'll be canceled, if it's going to rain, we do not have an indoor location, so we would just be selling beer and wine. Two, those with licenses, we'll have our cordoned off area for those that can drink, and we will have the first dance. Okay, um, I don't have any other questions, do you, Brian? I do. Do you want to make a motion? Make a motion, go ahead. Wine and malt liquor license for Smith College Dining Services on Friday, April 19th. Okay, uh, second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank, Thank you. <clears throat> you want to contact me? About yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Mayor. Okay, uh, and then um, uh, 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 I'm not inclined to wait. They're not here. Uh, you know, our time is here. Um, do, um, let me go uh, to the next one. Okay. Uh, 
return though to the item for uh, 2628 Center Street and okay, we don't know anything about the uh, the church, uh, but we uh, this this re this references which the uh, the one with the child Center Street. I'll take it. Okay. 2628 was the the yeah, but yeah I mean, it's the one I want to This one here. Is, is that what we're going to I'm sorry. No, the, the, the one here on the, is that the church or the, the number? The one on the left, is that the church or the number of Center Street? 43 is Not, the... Oh, 090... Oh, four, four no, is that's the church. 4 is the annual of the church. Right. The church, okay. 43 was the seasonal. Okay, all right. Well, let me just, in discussion here then, with you guys, uh, we, you know, he said he would uh, have the church ready by in June for a soft opening, so we're cool. still before that. He has uh, been before us the last time he came, I uh, weren't here, but oh. Brian and I were, and remember he said that he had started, he had served a few times there. He wasn't going to, um, I mean, he had opened it for customers coming, but he wasn't going to start the service of alcohol because he only had the seasonal there. Uh, oh, I couldn't open until April. Couldn't, yeah, couldn't open until April 1st anyway. We asked him again if he intended to apply for an annual and he said yes, um, but that, he wouldn't, and that made sense to us at the time. However, I note that um, there's still brown paper on the windows there. Mm -hmm. Drive down Center Street. I'll go right after the meeting. Yeah. So um, it doesn't seem like anything's open at this point. Well, what I was going to ask him is, you know, people, other people point out, people not on this body have pointed out to me that, you know, this appears, he appears not to be opening after, you know, operating there after he right. told you he had. So I was going to ask him that question, that's to explain, well, is that give, uh, give him the benefit of the doubt and see what he has to say. But it seems to me that at the next meeting, if it doesn't show that, in fact, he is starting serious and alcohol, April first is here. He can start. You know, he has he had a certificate of occupancy and inspection number. So why don't we make a couple of visits over the next month before the meeting? Just to drive by and check out. Can you just look out the window? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. 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 Pointing this out to me, and I had already seen it myself. So, if you look at Center Street, we could go any one of us and Is there knock on the door. Is there anything like a sign or anything? No, it still no. says Blue Note Guitars. Not too promising. And what is what? this proposed? What's the name of this new proposed? He took the common dick out in the name of the green room. Yeah, that's right. Technically, he doesn't have to. Well, he, he could uh, apply and just do a DBA on the license eventually, but uh, right now it's still just as 26, yeah. 28 Center Street. And he doesn't have to sign up on the outside and say what it is, but it should be uh, operating. And if he is going to provide the service of alcohol, he can't obstruct the view of the interior right. anyway. So. If her paper has to come down, maybe it's like a decorating idea. <laughs> but it can't. But, but, but it's not, um, it's not, um, uh, it's not uh, conforming with the regulations if it obstructs the view of the interior. So all those, all those items, uh, I was going to ask you, you guys would have had other questions, I'm sure. So um, we, should, uh, we should make sure that, you know, now that, again, the seasonal, kicks in and um, that he should be operating there and uh, serving on, uh, on some schedules with some regularity, right. regularity patrons there. Um, He's like, I can put this in a letter, um, again, asking that he come before us on the May 7th meeting? Yes, yes. I think that would be sense. We note that you did not appear for April. We are, we are we regret that you did not appear or something like that. Just make it clear that we're, you know, to, we wanted to see him and talk to him. We do have questions regarding okay. both 2628 Center Street and, and, and the church. And, uh, we, uh, we will, uh, we will, 
needs to speak to you. Is that okay? licenses which our city solicitor has said we can move those pocket licenses. So let me just put that on the record that we still are uh, still are aware of our the advice of the city on this matter. Okay. okay. And then uh, we missed the office of the chair. Item number 13, approval minutes, March 3rd, 2014. Did we see them? I think we did. Yeah, they were. Oh, okay. But I, okay. since I wasn't there, did you, did you see them? I did not. Okay, we'll put that over. And then, uh, <coughs> new business, let me just thank you again for doing this and coming back at, even after you, you fled. <laughs> not technically gone yet. Uh, okay. Um, so when do you think? Are you what, next next month's meeting? What, uh -huh. what do you think? You're gonna have somebody. Honestly, don't know. Okay. But we like seeing you. I'm sure we're <laughs> ready to move on. How is the? Uh, Thank you. It's much appreciated all this stuff. And, you know, I actually sat down with Mary the other day and just got an update on stuff that might matter soon. So mm -hmm. we'll see. Um, right, any other new business? No. Did you have anything you want? I do not. Okay. I'll make a motion and we adjourn. I'll second that. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you.